Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Outrage after Trey Gowdy exposes secret FBI plan to overthrow Trump Dems are furious. Over the past few weeks, it's become blatantly obvious that White House Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into President Donald Trump's alleged collusion with Russia is nothing more than a witch hunt. Now, South Carolina Representative Trey Gowdy has finally had enough. Western journalism reported that Gowdy went on Fox News on Monday night with fellow Republican lawmaker John Ratcliffe to talk about the newly discovered text messages that add to accusations that the FBI may be harboring anti-Trump bias in their investigation of Russian collusion. The text exchanges were between FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page, who was his mistress. The texts make it clear that Strzok and Page have an intense dislike of Trump with the agent even implying that a secret society exists among federal agents to prevent Trump from entering the White House. We know about this insurance policy that was referenced in trying to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president. We learned today about information that after in the immediate aftermath of this election that there may have been a secret society of folks within the Department of Justice and the FBI, to include Page and Strzok, that would be working against him, Radcliffe said. I'm not saying that actually happened. But when folks speak in those terms, they need to come forward to explain the contexts with which they use those terms. It's the day after the election and it's the same two people who were discussing a little bit later in the texts the damage they had done with the Clinton investigation and how they could fix it and make it right, Gotti said. That is a level of bias that is stunning among law enforcement officers. In another damning text message. Strzok suggested that there was some sort of insurance policy in place in the event that Trump were to win the presidency. I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office, that there's no way he gets elected but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before you're 40, the married Strzok wrote to Page. Last week. The Department of Justice announced that it had somehow lost five months' worth of texts between Strzok and Page. The DOJ said that all texts between December 14, 2016, to May 17, 2017, were no longer available, and Republicans immediately called foul. It is possible these text messages that are missing, perhaps they really were lost. Perhaps it is another strange coincidence, Radcliffe stated. It makes it harder and harder for us to explain one strange coincidence after another. We can only hope that Gowdy, Radcliffe, and their fellow Republicans are able to get to the bottom of this and finally put a stop to Mueller's witch hunt against Trump.